Welcome to the show Inner Beauty with Petya. I'm your host, Petya Kolibová. And on this show, we are introducing a guest that are sharing insightful tips and strategies how to build a life that feels amazing on the inside, not just one that looks good on the outside. My today's guest, Darna Mercica, it's truly a proof of how radiant beauty can be when we take care of the inside. She's a health and wellness coach and she's a walking proof of how healthy on the inside radiates out. Welcome, Dana. I'm so Thank excited you. to have you today. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for inviting me. It's always so beautiful to be like connected with people who truly believe in that health. It's coming from the inside. Yes. And you know, sometimes people are talking about health and they're not the proof of it. They don't look like they truly are taking care of themselves. Right. So it's really refreshing to be around people like yourself when you're not just talking about it. You're such a proof and living and walking and breathing of this inner beauty. So I'm really excited to dive deep in and talk about the health and really give people some strategies how to improve their life to the healthy way yeah. and you know that makes me wonder because sometimes we see people on their journey where they are now and everything looks like picture perfect but we don't know where did they start it so can you please like just <laughs> let us know how did you start it yes. and why yes um my health journey started when I was young. Uh, I think, you know, we, we all, as humans, we all have our ups and downs with our health. And I had my fair share. Uh, when I was young, I was in and out of the hospital a lot. Mm. I was suffering with really severe um, issues in my stomach, uh, digestive issues. And um, I would go to the hospital and as just a child, I was diagnosed with lazy bowel syndrome and given absolutely no reason for it oh. and, uh, and prescribed laxatives and told to eat more fiber. And that was it. That How was, old you were back then? I mean, this started when I was about six and continued right through to the age of 15. That's a baby. I know. Like, like babies shouldn't have a digestive issues, right? Absolutely not. And, and to be, I mean, when you do, it's about really finding what the cause is, yeah. but so many people just trust their, you know, mm. their healthcare providers or trust the medical system and, and we don't know any better. Yeah. Um, but to be a child and told to take laxatives, um, yeah, that, that definitely had a pretty negative effect on my system. And then, so you were six years old, they told you to take laxatives and your parents I, gave it to you? I think I was about 10 to 12 mm -hmm. when they said, well, you know, just give her some laxatives and a little extra fiber in her diet and, uh, and that should help, you know, clear out her system. And, uh, and, you know, laxatives, your body becomes really reliant on them. And mine did. My body became reliant. I couldn't go to the bathroom without mm -hmm. them. Uh, it became a real big issue until around age 15 I um, went to a functional medicine doctor and she performed an elimination diet. Was it uh, your idea or your parents or? Um, I was definitely feeling just angry and just confused. I didn't feel like all the other kids. Yeah. You know, I would get sick at sleepovers. I am thinking like, you know, like if you're holding everything inside of you, yeah. that just like, <laughs> I would be really upset and angry yeah. too. Like, just think about it because what you're keeping inside of your body, mm -hmm. it's toxic and you have like unhealthy relationship with your body because you feel separated from the others. You feel exactly. like you don't belong. You feel that there is something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. And when you start thinking something is wrong with with you something really is especially at that age you know wow. in your early teens um, you think that it's it's your fault right mm. that there is something wrong with you and 
not being able to, you know, not feeling well at school, it started affecting my schoolwork. Mm -hmm. So eventually, um, mum and I just did our research and we found this doctor. And, you know, back then in Australia, that was, you know, it was hard to find somebody that specialized in this kind of medicine. So she did an elimination diet with me and we, we essentially stripped my diet of everything and it was really rough. Uh, but a long story short, it turned out that I was uh, gluten and dairy intolerant. So, so no what, lactose, is, the, no what is the elimination diet for those who never heard of it? Okay, an elimination diet is a process where you remove any kind of allergens or food that you could possibly be sensitive to, which is most <laughs> things. Um, and you slowly reintroduce them back into your diet one at a time. But you want to have them out of your diet for mm -hmm. quite an extended period of time to make sure that your body is is clear of all mm -hmm. the allergens and so then, what would be the examples of the food you know i know it's uh, gluten absolutely. and dairy what else yes so dairy as in all the cheeses and the milks and yogurts um butter everything like that gluten is you know wheats um uh bread pasta pizza all the fun stuff <laughs> <laughs> like, that doesn't sound fun. Like take away pizza, pasta, bread. As, what are we eating yeah. now? Drinking water? Especially at 15 years old. To yeah. not be able to have pizza and ice cream anymore was oh. difficult. Um, but then they also took out sugar, mm -hmm. uh, soy, eggs, um, uh, animal foods, meats. Um, what are you eating back then? Like <laughs> right now, because I'm like taking out, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then now, what are you left Basically, with? Basically, I was left with uh, vegetables and rice. Really? Plain vegetables So is and there rice. like plant protein that you could have? Absolutely. Like beans or Absolutely. like yes. wood? Huh. Yes. Um, I was still getting my protein, but keep in mind that this was for a short period of time. It was okay. only about six weeks okay. but that still, I six couldn't weeks. eat all that. Okay? okay, And my energy levels were definitely a lot lower because um, also as a 15-year-old, you know, I didn't realize how much sugar I was consuming. And so just my body was really getting used to... Mm -hmm not eating a lot yeah um, that's really fascinating so i'm really glad that we went over you know explaining what is mm -hmm. the elimination diet mm -hmm. and i want to dive even deeper so we yeah. can really discuss it so let's take a really short break and don't miss out because this is going to be really <laughs> juicy hi my name is amy kardashian not kardashian when I came to United States, I did not speak English at all. I had no education, no skills, barely any money in my hands, and I had 10-year-old daughter to raise. However, giving up was not an option for me. In order to survive and thrive, I had to shift my thoughts and apply all of the insights wisdom and the lessons I learned throughout my journey to get and have everything I want. Today, I am an author, TV talk show host, a keynote speaker, a special liaison officer for the Women's Federation for World Peace USA. This is how I am paying it forward today. I have created four online classes where I share steps, techniques, and powerful insights that I have used in my life that will give you clear direction on how to transform your thoughts from wanting to having everything you want. And the first class is my gift to you. There is absolutely no obligation to you. So what are you waiting for? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Start shifting your thoughts today so you can transform your life like I did. I encourage you to take action now. Click on the link and see what's in store for you. Hi, I'm attorney Eric Palacios. If you or a loved one has questions regarding immigration, call my office at 444-7777. 
It's important to hire the right lawyer to take care of your immigration needs. Call 444-7777. And we are back. I'm super excited to continue this conversation because so often people are feeling like a discomfort or disconnect with their body. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing, you know, like that journey because yeah. it's truly something that we take like, okay, I just get bloated or okay, I'm just tired, but we take it like a normal thing. Exactly. And, you know, that's what I want to promote. I want to, I want to teach people to pay attention that, um, you know, when I, I had these issues and then going on to my adult life, you know, learning about gluten and dairy was a game changer for me. It absolutely changed everything. I, uh, my acne cleared up, my bloat went away, mm -hmm. I became regular, <laughs> um, and there were no more hospital visits. Mm -hmm. And you know, my life went back to normal. But then moving on into my adult life, I was faced with a new set of issues. Um, I, I had fatigue. I suffered from really bad chronic fatigue uh, to where I was tired all the time. I would, you know, wake up in the morning and feel like I was already exhausted and needed to go back to bed. Mm. Um, I was addicted to caffeine and sugar. Uh, I was even diagnosed with a stomach ulcer at age 26, wow. which at the time I thought was normal, right? Mm. You know, I was like, well, this is just my body. I just need to deal with it. I'm just tired all the time. I'll just drink more coffee and I'll get over it. You know, I'll sleep tonight. It'll be fine. And then, you know, you push yourself and you deal with it. Mm -hmm. But it's time to really stop thinking that that's a normal way of living because mm -hmm. it's not it's actually your body giving you a sign trying to tell you something you know it's so time to make a change how can you how can you like connect better with your body like what it's uh it's a process and um you know first of all it's really about understanding that your body is like a computer you know, what your body processes is incredible. And I think we need to start giving our bodies more respect and love. Mm. I really think that the health journey starts with love and respect and understanding that, you know, your body can only take so much. Mm -hmm. And taking the time to stop and breathe. Mm -hmm. uh, even me being a health coach, I have to stop and remind myself to take some deep breaths. And when I mean deep breaths, I mean right into the diaphragm. Um, and I used to think, oh, that's silly. I'd breathe, you know. But what I learned um, through my studies in nutrition was that actually breathing into your diaphragm triggers the parasympathetic nervous system. And what that does, it's actually science. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it tells your body that you can relax. Mm. It tells, you know, it tells your body that you don't have to be stressed anymore, that mm -hmm. you can sleep mm. through the night, that you're not running away from anything. It's the fight or flight yes. syndrome that we experience all day. Yeah. But taking that deep breath into your diaphragm, it really slows down. So what your is system. the technique? Like how do you do that to really Let's relax? Do Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically when you're breathing in Quite often we take breaths into our chest and we mm -hmm. feel our chest expand, but you don't want to feel that. You want to feel your belly expand, okay? So it's easy if you just put your hand on your mm -hmm. belly and you take a really big deep breath in and feel your belly expand. And then breathe out. And do it a couple more times. And all of a sudden, you actually can start feeling, if you pay attention, you can start feeling your mind relax. No, I really feel it. I'm like, I feel a little bit high. That's good. Yes. Like 3D breath. Yes. 
So does it matter if you breathe through the nose or like breathing out through the mouth? Like is there any difference? Breathing in through the nose is better, definitely. Um, the whole way down, you're triggering your nervous system, okay? So breathing in through the nose and deep down into the diaphragm, there's all these little nerves that send all these signals in our bodies. That's why I was saying, you know, we're like a, a computer, a bio computer. Mm -hmm. So if you focus on that, you can really learn to just stop that stress from occurring in your body that is so damaging. So why, why is stress important for our health? I know we keep hearing it, stress is bad for you, mm -hmm. but why is it so important? While your body is in a state of stress, your body isn't able to, to perform the functions it's supposed to be functioning. So for example, um, you know, Back in the day, stress was triggered when we were running for our lives, mm -hmm. you know, from a wild animal or we were at, we're at war, you know, those kinds of moments. Whereas in today's world, we're stressed over everything. We're stressed over emails. We're stressed over, you know, being places on time. Um, traffic, you know, causes us stress. But we, it's so important to take a look at what we're getting stressed over and stop stressing over the little things mm -hmm. because stress turns into other issues, bigger mm -hmm. issues. It turns into emotional eating. Yes. Right? Yes. I've been there. Me too. <laughs> I think many women been like, yeah. even like my clients, you know, it's like they're entrepreneurs and there are stress about, like you said, it's the email, it's I got to take care of business, I got to take mm -hmm. care of myself. Mm -hmm. And it's like this constant stress. And mm -hmm. then when you have the moment, instead of relax, what do you do? You are trying to feel better and do go for the quick fixes exactly. that it's usually carbs or unhealthy, like mm -hmm. fast fats. Sure. Sugars. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. start craving sugars um, because stress is our body is starting to crave energy, right? When we're stressed, we need more energy to fight, yeah. right? More energy to run away. Yeah. And um, we start, our body starts craving the sugar, the carbs to keep us going. Yeah. But what we really need to do is stop and relax because otherwise we don't get a good night's sleep. You know, we start struggling with fatigue. Our adrenal glands um, become fatigued mm -hmm. because we're just constantly producing adrenaline. Yeah. So what are other ways to relax, you know, to reduce the stress mm -hmm. besides the breathing? Because mm -hmm. I love that the breathing, we can do it anytime, yes. anywhere. And yes. I remember I was doing it like when I used to work in a corporate office, you know, I like didn't know what I'm doing, mm -hmm. but like overwhelmed with clients, with emails, with everything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, okay, I got this. Because when we're stressed, it's just shallow breathing and yes. you feel even more stressed. Mm -hmm. And if you can truly just like, okay, I, I used to go like to the bathroom, to the bathroom because I can be alone there, you know, it was like single escape. bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, like escape or to my car or just go for a walk. And I would just take a few deep breaths. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this too shall pass. Like I got this, you know? Yes. So really I feel like it's only when we connect with the breath, we mm -hmm. can connect with ourselves and anyone can do it right away. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And so are there any other things that you are doing to reduce the stress yes. that really makes you feel more grounded and connected with your body? Absolutely. Exercise is important, but, um, in order to get into a state of calm. Sometimes rigorous exercise is actually causing us to feel, you know, still a little bit stressed. You know, yeah. we're still putting a lot of stress on our bodies. So I love yoga. Mm -hmm. I, you know, yoga really changed my life. Uh, it became a big part of my life. Um, and also self care, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, an interesting topic and it means something different to everybody, mm. but really, carving out some time for yourself and intentionally taking that time to put your phone away, you know, get away from the technology for a little bit, go out in nature. So let's get out 
of the technology just for a little bit because <laughs> I really want to see what else you got stored for us. So let's okay. take a really quick break mm -hmm. and we will be right back. You really don't want to miss this. This is going <laughs> to be so exciting. Snap-on dentures will change your life. And at Smiles Today Dental, we now offer the lowest price in town. Mini dental implants can stabilize your loose dentures permanently. Call Smiles Today Dental for a free consultation. Thank you for calling Dental Revival. Hate to say goodbye to your favorite jeans? Well, now you don't have to, because Denim Revival is here for you. Mail us your jeans and our professionals will fix it right up. We offer you all kinds of alteration services, including invisible repairs, let outs, taperings, and original hemming, or even have your own custom-made jeans. Quoted the best denim repair shop by GQ, Vogue Magazine, and LA Times. Denim Revival, your search for alteration and repair ends here. And we are back. So we were talking about the second way how to be a little bit less stressed in our daily life, which is exercise and self-care. And uh, Darna mentioned that she really loves yoga. So I'm really curious to see what else she is practicing to connect with her body and feel less stressed. Yeah, so self-care. Uh, what does it mean? What is it? It means something different for everyone. For me, my self-care, I love cooking. Mm. Okay. I love eating, but I also love <laughs> cooking. And, and you're so a good chef. I enjoy, good <laughs> I enjoy getting in the kitchen, still putting my phone out of sight, turning on some music, you know, dancing a little bit and just enjoying that space. Um, self-care could mean, uh, just taking a walk in nature. It could mean, um, something as simple as cleaning your tongue. I know that sounds weird, but buy a tongue I do it scraper. twice a day. I do it twice a day. <laughs> exactly. It's so funny because I learned about it just recently. Mm -hmm. I know I heard it like before. However, I was reading a book on Ayurveda from Sarah Rose mm -hmm. and she was mentioning tongue scraping and why is it important? I was like, oh, I never thought about it that we are really keeping all the toxins on our yes. tongue. Yes. So I'm like, okay, now I do it twice a day. And you know what's fascinating to me? I would never believe the benefit benefits however one day I started to feel under weather and I know it was just I haven't been sick I don't even remember mm -hmm. however I started to feel worn out and tired and those are the first signs yes, because yes. if I will keep going my body will stop me so out, what I sick. did that day I took the tongue scraper and I like really clean it up and then I felt better the same day I'm like how is this possible because it was just like the second mm -hmm. day or something like that or even like maybe the first day that I used the tongue scraper but I'm like wow yeah the buildup of bacteria um, you know it's funny but cleaning your tongue can also help stop cravings if you get cravings for different foods sugars stuff like that, Why is that? sometimes cleaning your tongue it just it's it's like starting with a clean slate wow yeah, yeah. Wow, because I got my uh, tan scraper on, I just wrote on Amazon, I get everything there, but I got my on Amazon and I'm like, just like tan scraper, yeah. you know, and I read that the the stainless, uh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. St steel. Stainless steel. Yes, yeah. yeah, stainless yeah. steel. I was like, do you say this way? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> stainless <laughs> steel, yeah. Honestly, yeah, there's tons out there and I it just, was so I, just cheap. I recommend something like that. Um, a face mask, taking some time to put on a face mask, uh, really anything you enjoy. I also enjoy painting, yeah. so carving out the time where I just sit there and I paint. What about those who are so busy in life? Like I don't have I, five minutes for myself, you don't understand, yes, I have yes. four kids and I have business. Most of my clients come to me because they are struggling to find the time for themselves. You know, they want to eat healthier. Um, but they barely find the time to go grocery shopping. When they are at the grocery store, 
they just grab a few things, it ends up going bad in their refrigerator because they don't find the time to cook it. So they come to me to help, you know, manage that with them. Mm -hmm. Now, um, uh, finding the time, it's something that you have to kind of force yourself to do. And, you know, finding s small, easy ways of incorporating self-care and nutrition into your daily routine. Um, but, you know, the first step is recognizing that you do have to find the time. And we all have to find the time, even if it's, you know, 10 minutes a day of breathing and meditation work. Or, um, you know, I really find meal prepping helps with the nutritional aspect. You know, you have your Sunday where you just prepare all the food for the week. Um, that's a huge help. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. And mm -hmm. I really love that there are so many ways. There is no wrong or right way how to take care of yourself. Self-care just means taking care of yourself first. Because if yes. you don't take care of yourself first, how do you want to take care of the rest of the world? Your family, exactly. your business, your loved ones when you're burned out and mm -hmm. when you're sick. Mm -hmm. So self-care, it's really crucial. And the yes. exercise and the braiding. Is there anything else that it's working for you? I, I really do believe, you know, in everyone's individual we what's good for me may not be good for you um, and that's also with food and nutrition um, but the three things we all have in common that we can all do with less of to better our health is less stress less processed foods and mm. less sugar mm. and I really think that those three things if we really pay attention to what we're consuming as far as processed foods and sugar um, you know, really, we're only meant to be consuming about 24 to 36 grams of sugar really? I per thought it's day. 50. <laughs> <laughs> My studies were higher. That's, that's a little high. That's even a little high. Obviously, you know, everyone's individual, yeah. but about 24 to 36 grams. So, of give sugar us an day. example. You know, for example, banana. How many grams of sugar it has, or one apple? You know, just so we can understand, Absolutely. like, if we're supposed to do less of, like, compared to what? Well. One of the biggest issues in um, America right now, and it's getting to be that way in other countries too, is um, soda. Yeah. Soda is hugely consumed. So a can of cola, for example, contains 39 grams of sugar. So it's your all so day that's consumption. <laughs> exactly. Like have that's cola and you are than, done. That's more than what you should consume with everything you eat in an entire day. Okay. Right? So to put that into perspective, mm -hmm. so you're better off having a couple of pieces of fruit as your sugar intake yeah. than having one can of soda and everything else that you consume, mm -hmm. the donut, the ice cream, you know, it ends up to be that we're just way over consuming sugar, mm -hmm. um, which has a huge effect on the body, you know, that it leads to type 2 diabetes and um, Why is obesity. sugar bad for body? <sighs> because your your body um, ends up reliant on it, right? So uh, your your insulin levels spike, and um, then you become uh, insulin resistant. Resistant, yeah, yeah exactly. So um, that's what leads to type two diabetes. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people these days are walking around um, in a phase called pre-diabetes mm -hmm. and they don't know it because at that point there's not really that many symptoms mm -hmm. um, but yeah once you hit type 2 diabetes it, it becomes really difficult to manage so the goal is to start reducing sugar intake mm -hmm. before you get to that mm -hmm. level so less stress less yes. processed food yes. and less sugar yes what is processed food? Because my mom, when I tried to explain her back in Czech Republic, I'm like, mom, you're going to eat less processed food. She was like, what is processed food? I'm right. like, well, things that are not from nature or, you know. Or things that, I mean, basically anything in a package is processed. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you, when you really break it down. What about but almond milk? Almond milk is still processed food. Technically processed food. You can make your own almond milk, which... <laughs> Honestly, in this day and age, yeah. we are time deficient, you know. Um, but, you know, things like um, what you want to look for um, if you are buying something in a package, try and get something with 
organic ingredients, a short ingredient list okay, is got important. It. When you see an ingredient list that's really, really long with a whole bunch of words that you can't pronounce, mm -hmm. that's when you need yeah. to look in another direction. Yeah. So less right now in the life, it's more. And mm -hmm. I could be talking hours and hours about this because this is really fascinating. However, I want to be respectful of your beautiful time. <laughs> and so I really want to like just sum up the takeaways, yes. you know, less stress, yes. less processed food mm -hmm. and less sugar. Because when Absolutely. we stress less, we can really focus on what matters mm -hmm. in life and we become healthier. And with that, we really become happy. Here. Exactly. So for those who would love to learn more about you and stay connected, can you please just share with the audience? Absolutely. I would love to connect with you. If you email me directly at connect at smileandeat.com, my website is smileandeat.com. And you can also find me on social media. Uh, my Instagram is at smileandeatwellness. I absolutely love that smile and eat so we can smile yes, and, and feel happy. That's what life's about. <laughs> that's, that's true. Like that's, that's something that I live by. So thank you so much for absolutely. your time and wisdom. I really appreciate you. And for everyone, stay tuned for another episodes and our amazing shows. And in the meantime, keep shining your own light.